Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey, uh, in this tutorial, we will guide you through creating vertical dividers in your navigation menu. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to do it in the footer menu because it's uh, it looks best there, but you can redo it uh, for any menu in any location on your website. Um, so we're using bricks. Um, so this menu will feature a clean design with vertical lines separating each menu item, uh, achieved through just simple HTML structure and some CSS styling. It will give you the code below. Um, so first, uh, navigate to your template editor in Bricks uh, Builder and create a new footer template for your website or use an existing footer template. Uh, click Save Draft of your footer template to ensure that your progress is saved, obviously. Uh, once saved, proceed to edit your uh, footer template using the Bricks Visual Editor. Within the Bricks Editor interface, add a new section to your footer layout for the placement of the menu if you don't have it already. Now inside that footer menu container, add a code element where it will customize a menu with the dividers between the menu items. So in this video, I accidentally used the short code element without realizing it. It works, but the more appropriate element is the code element, right? Where I circled on this uh, video here. Uh, so here's a code. Uh, I'll explain it to you and explain it uh, how the HTML and uh, CSS styles work. We will also provide a link to the code in the description box below. Uh, first, this will define the root element of the HTML document with the language set to English. So you can set it to whatever language you want uh, that you're using. Uh, this one contains meta information about the document, such as the character encoding and viewport settings. Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash that like button. It will really help out this channel in um, these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. Uh, this will specify the character encoding for the document, supporting a wide range of characters. This will ensure the page renders properly on different devices by setting the viewport width to the device width and the initial zoom level to 1.0. This will set the website uh, website's page or web page title displayed in the browser tab. Uh, this one styles the list with no bullets and no margins. Also, this one styles each menu item with padding, margin, and background color appropriate for the footer. Uh, for this one, it adds a vertical line after each menu item except for the last one using a pseudo element. The assign is positioned to the right of the menu item, spanning its full height, creating a clean separation. And lastly, this one styles the link within each menu item, removing underlines and setting the text color. And that's pretty much it. And obviously we include uh, all that HTML code uh, for you in its entirety, but uh, you could definitely modify it, uh, truncate it, and throw away some of the code if you're not using it and if it's not pertinent to you. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, again, I'll leave in the description box below and uh, thank you for watching our video and be sure to press that thumbs up and subscribe for new videos. Thank you, bye.